we're here to talk about aspirin's anti-cancer properties because, weirdly enough, aspirin does prevent cancer. But aspirin, even at moderate doses, comes with one big drawback, bleeding. The big limitation with aspirin prophylaxis for cancer is the time lag. You probably have to take aspirin for at least 10 years, if not longer, to extract a real but fairly modest benefit. So the benefit is way in the future, but the bleeding risk starts on day one. You have to endure a decade of bruising, epistaxis, GI bleeds, cerebral hemorrhages to get the cancer reduction, and that's a big ask for most people. Because we can also screen you for colon cancer with, modality of your choice, but we can catch and remove polyps and adenomas before they become colon cancer. One cost-effectiveness analysis found that aspirin, compared to colonoscopy every 10 years, saved fewer lives at a higher cost, which, if you're pro-aspirin, is not the answer you want to hear. Aspirin is this remarkable thing, because when you first hear about it, its ability to prevent cancer, well, it sounds like pseudoscience, except it's not. It's based on a surprisingly large number of RCTs, and the benefits are small, but quantifiable. Its drawback is the bleeding risk. 